A to E, F sharp, D, and then A, E, and then... All right, what's up everyone? Uh, let's do some quick jamming and learn how to play Wagon Wheel by Darius Rucker. So if you guys have been keen on playing this song, it's a song I play all the time. I do it at pubs, I do it at shows. Um, everyone loves this jam, I do it on my stream. Um, so hopefully this will help you guys on how I play it. Um, there's two ways I like to approach it. I do like an open chord way for myself and then I do lots of bar chords as well to like swap the vibe. And then I'll show you guys how you can do it if you are scared of bar chords. I have a complete open chord version of it where we use a capo on the second fret. So capo right here. Um, and then after that, we're gonna jump into like ways that you can perform it. Like if, this, if you're gonna sing and play it um, and how you can create uh, a lot of dynamics with the playing uh, to then make it feel like it's a full song. So we're just gonna jump right in. Chords, straight off the bat, you're just gonna be playing an A chord, and then you're gonna play an E chord, and then you can play F sharp minor, and then a D. And that's the whole song. So I don't have like my, my vocal singing settings on, but, but if you're gonna learn how to sing and play this, or you're just gonna learn how to play this, you kinda wanna get the singing groove in, and that's gonna keep you like in time with the song. So uh, the song follows the structure of A to E, F sharp, D, and then A, E, and then you hold D for two. Then back to the beginning. Very, 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 very simple song. Um, and it also sets the framework up for a couple of other songs. You can medley with it, but it's great. So you got your A chord there, super simple. Just A, barring the second fret down. I'll put tabs up for you guys as well if you want them. Uh, e major chord, super simple. F sharp minor chord is, I like to do like a, a minor seven or whatever, take my pinky off. I actually will very rarely play my bar chords this way. So if you ever see me play, I usually just do the bar the same way I did the A and I just throw my, my thumb over like that. It gets a minor seven, but it sounds very, very uh, spicy and cool. Um, so you can give that a, cr a try and then just a D, D major chord. And if you want to get like the like they have like a little bit of that. You could do that. Just like sliding. Just sliding into that chord. So that's a really, really fun way to do that. So that's the first chords that you're gonna approach if you're gonna do open chords. Now, if you're gonna do bar chords, you're gonna be playing up here, bar chord on the fifth fret, just your major shape, A, and then we're gonna drop down to an E, and then you're gonna go F sharp over here, and then you come down to a D. Really easy. So that's the shapes of those ones. Now, if we're going to get into, like say you really hate bar chords, uh, we can grab a capo. Put it on the second fret. And now this is like what I, I always like to think about um, anything capo towards the cage system. So we're gonna be using like G as our home, like the G shape. So we're gonna play a G chord and then we're gonna play a D and then we're gonna play an E minor and then a C all on the second fret. And that will get us the correct chords of the song. which I'm pretty sure in the recording, they do do something similar to that. I'm not a huge capo guy, just because I just don't use a capo at all, very rarely. Um, I'll only do it for like playing like free falling or things like that. But I know a lot of people who are big capo guys and, uh, and guys and girls, capos are for everyone. Um, and <laughs> basically you just chuck it on the second fret, play your G chord and uh, you're, you're off to the races. Now, um, this is gonna, like, we're gonna go to the next portion, which is like how to really like get the tune rolling for you. Um, so when you're playing and you're learning a song, you don't want to be jumping in and being like, okay, these are the guitar parts, let's go. Uh, you want to think like, can I line the chord changes up with the vocal rhythm? And then you'll be like, hey, Luan, I just wanna play guitar, I don't wanna sing. And I'll be like, well, if you know how the singing goes and you can hear it in your head, your time and your flow 
is going to be so spot on that it will just sound fantastic. Because a lot of the times when we play music, you know, the goal of playing music is usually to play with others or play to others. And so if you can make it so easy for your listener that they, like say if you are just playing the guitar, that they can actually preemptively hear the lyrics in their head because your fl- like the flow of the chords is so spot on with the vocal rhythm, then you're all good. Because playing to a metronome is really great. Um, if you can find the patience to do that all the time, then, you know, hell yeah. But personally, I, I hate metronomes. Like I straight up, they're just not my friend. Metronomes just make me so annoyed. But I do, I do use them, but I use the song as the metronome basically for myself. I'll, I'll use the vocal rhythm as the thing that keeps me in check. So how we're going to approach that is you're going to try and hear it in your head. You can either talk it out, you can sing it, you can hear it in your head, whatever gets it done, or you can play the recording and then play to the recording, but nice and slow. So for instance, rock me mama like a wagon wheel. Rock me mama any way you feel. Hey, mama rock me. Rock me, mama. Like so, you can see how I just do it like that. You don't have to do anything crazy. Now you can see that my strumming pattern is only focusing on the down. So I want to get the chord changes to line up with the lyrics first. Once you get really comfortable with that, then we're going to add a couple more strumming patterns. So then you can be a bit creative. You know, rock me, mama. Like a bag of wheel. Rock me, mama. Any way you feel. Hey, mama, rock me. And then you can be clever with that. Now, as you get really comfortable with that, that is pretty much all you need to do when it comes to playing the song. That is it. Wagon wheel, done. You can bookmark that and be like, I could practice that five minutes every day and you will get really, really good at it and you will be, you know, showing off to everybody and you'll be on fire. Now, the next step, this is when you start to go from being a beginner on the song. And and the other thing you always got to remember Just because you might be a beginner player doesn't mean you need to not take this approach, which is a more of a meet intermediate and more professional. Like I know a lot of intermediate and professionals that are getting paid to play shows that still don't do this. It is um, like a pet peeve of mine of whenever I see someone with an acoustic guitar and they are singing or they're self accompanying, they're not giving them the, they're not giving themselves the opportunity to show off what they know. And so what you're going to do is you're going to create like, an arc of tension and resolution, you know, just like this flow. And like the song already has this flow of having a verse, chorus, verse, chorus, you know, you want to be able to send your listeners on that journey. Now, if I come off right at the bat and I'm just like, and then I come into the song, and down south to the land of the pine up from my thing in the north Cap- you can see how already i'm like i'll play that and then we get to the chorus so rock me mama like a wagon wheel. your ear even though i've already hit 11 you know and like i've already hit my ceiling of what i'm going to give you in the song so what you want to do is that's going to set you up to fail not fail because you're actually playing the song like it's all good you know if that's as far as you can get all good But if you want to take it just a little step further, it's just a tiny little bit, and you're actually going to be doing less than what you would normally do if you're just kumbayaring it. Um, That's like my little term for like strumming the hell out of a song and not giving a, not not caring about how it's going to go. But basically, um, you want to isolate the sections. So typically what I will do is my verse one is going to be down here. It's going to be super chill and very, very little is happening on the guitar. Even just like, I could even do bass notes and it's all good. Then I'm going to go up to the chorus is going to be like pretty high. And then I'm going to bring it down to about like 75 is where the verse two is going to go. And then the chorus comes back up. Now, if there's a bridge in this one, there's a third third verse, you know, then I really pull back because I really want to like, I'm going like, here we are. Boom, bring it back down, boom. And then I'm like, bring you all the way back down. And then I'm like, bang, right for the last chorus. And so that is essentially kind of how I like to approach it. That's how it will sound like you are a band because you are 
creating the feel of the band because that's what they're doing in the production. That's what the band's job is. That's what the producer does. The producer builds the track, builds those crescendos, builds those moments of tension and resolution with the arrangement. And um, you have to somehow figure out how to do that on the guitar. So the beginner portion, we've already finished that. You can turn off this video whenever you're ready. This is more intermediate to advanced, um, but beginners can totally tackle this. It's really, really easy to do. Um, if you just, if you don't care about doing any of the stuff, then sweet, turn me off. I love you. Thank you for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate you hanging out all the way to the end. Um, I'll have the tabs in the description. Uh, I'm going to try and figure out how to put like a PDF for you guys. Um, but if you actually want to like level it up a little bit more, just like a tiny little bit, what you're going to do is when you come into the verse, you know, you can jump in Kumbaya pretty hard on the song to let everyone know, let's go. So I'm bringing it in pretty hot. And then that verse comes. And down south to the land of the pine From my way in North Carolina Staring down the road Pretty got I see headlights Made it down the coast to 17 hours Picking me a bouquet with dogwood flowers I'm, I'm hoping for Raleigh I can see my baby tonight So rock me mama like a wagon wheel Rock me mama any way you feel Hey mama rock me Rock me, mama, like a wind in the rain. Rock me, mama, like a southbound train. Hey, mama, rock me now. Next one. Run from the cold. Up in New England, I was born to be a fiddler in the old town string band. My baby plays the guitar, play the banjo now. Yeah, the North Country winds keep getting me down. Lost my money playing poker, so I had to leave town. I ain't to come back, living that old life no more. So rock me, mama, like a wagon wheel. So you can see how I'm really building that story in the guitar playing. And that's going to make it really easy for people to listen to you while you play. I actually, low key, I don't know the verse. Because normally I go, country road, take me home. But that's another little fun vibe that I do. But say you were coming into the third verse, you know, like, you know. Dun, 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 up in the wind and I was born to be a dun 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 so rock me mama like a wagon wheel Rock me mama any way you feel hey, Mama rock me So if you guys are seeing I am using my guitar playing to create tension and resolution I'm bringing people down I'm bringing them back up Even like then I didn't jump into the chorus straight away with like a big oosh I just came in really really chill And then in the second half of the chorus I like built it back up You know, cheeky things like that. So that's how you play Wagon Wheel. I hope it helps you. I hope it uh, is a really, really fun thing and you guys slay and you do amazing things with it. So please tag me in any videos if you guys do learn and you do post it. I would love to give you feedback, anything I can do. Um, in the comments, if this helped you, please let me know. If there's another song you would like a uh, tutorial on, like a quick one, I'm more than happy to do it. So please let me know what kind of content you guys are after and I'd love to help you. All right. Thank you so much. And uh, see you guys on the next video.